moving a motor using an electronic speed controller or an ESC to make a motor move. We have a motor here. It's got a couple of pigtails on it. That's normal. We have three different types of speed controllers here. So this is a single channel speed controller. This one is a dual channel. This one also is a dual channel speed controller. Speed controllers come in a couple different sizes, a couple different amperages, if you will. This particular speed controller is a 15 amp single speed controller. This one here is 25 amps for each channel. This one I believe is also 25 amps for each channel. And I thought I'd just show really quick how you would uh, connect something like this to an RC system. This one here is much more like a kind of standard RC electronic speed controller. Sealed in a case, sealed in plastic. It already has pigtails on it, so that, that's very handy. So I'm just gonna use this one here really quick because it's all set up for that. Your motor, it doesn't matter the polarity on the pigtails. Basically, your motor is going to spin in one direction versus the other direction based on uh, which way you do the control. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to connect them red to red, black to black. I also here have a receiver. This is connected to or bound to this transmitter right here. This speed controller, this speed controller has uh, an RC style connector on there. And I'm just going to connect this into the first channel. All we need to do is connect a battery to this motor. This motor right here is rated for 12 volts. This is a 12 volt battery. This particular speed controller is rated from 12 volts to 24 volts. If I was running a 24 volt motor, then you could use a 24 volt battery. The speed controller is then providing power to the, to the receiver. You see the little green light there, means these two are connected. This setup makes it very easy because this little speed controller running off this battery is providing the proper voltage to the receiver. So backwards, forwards, and just to illustrate my point a little bit here, I'll move the battery out of the way. These connections here can be reversed. So I can put the black one with the red one and the red one with the black one, and now this is going in reverse, and that's going forward. These connections don't matter as much. Obviously, connecting to the battery, you need to make sure your connections are the correct polarity. Also, with the connection from the speed controller to the receiver, that also has to be the correct polarity. I hope that was informative and easy to understand.